Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to make a simple calculator so guys in this program we ask the user to choose an operation for simple calculator such as addition subtract multiplication or division then the user enters two numbers based on the choice of operation and then the result will be displayed based on the operation that is selected so guys this is a very simple calculator that we are going to make using the python program in vs code so guys over here the very first thing that we are going to print is we are going to say choose an operation so choose an operation between 1 to 4 so these operations will be the very first thing will be the number 1 it will be equal to add so two numbers will be added over here and then similarly we have more three operations so over here the second operation it will be subtract so we say subtract over here and then we have multiply and then we have divide over here so these are the operations that is 1 is for adding, 2 is for subtracting, 3 is for multiplying and then 4 is for dividing two numbers. So guys what we can do is choose an operation this label we can provide after providing all these options that is 1 to 4 and then user will be providing one of these options. So what we will do is we will take that option inside the option variable it is equal to we will use the input function in order to take the input from the user and instead of having this print statement we can have this label inside the input function so i'll just copy this and paste this over here inside the input function and we can simply remove this print statement over here so guys basically we are providing four options and then we are asking the user to choose an operation now guys over here the data that is provided by the user will be of the string data type so we need to convert it into the integer so we use the int function as the prefix and enclose the entire input function inside this int function over here so that whatever operation is chosen by the user it is converted to integer and then it is stored in this option variable now guys we need to check whether the option selected is between 1 to 4 so over here we say if option in and then we can have the list and the list will contain 1 2 3 4 which means this expression that is option n inside this list it will be true only when the user selects the option between 1 to 4 and then after that only we will take the two numbers from the user in order to carry out the operation of the simple calculator or else what we can do is if the number that is entered by the user is not between 1 to 4 then it is an invalid operation so we can simply print the invalid operation over here so we say invalid operation entered now guys we take the two numbers in order to carry out the operation that is selected by the user so over here what we will do is we will say num1 it is equal to n and inside this we will have the input and we will say enter first number so over here enter first number so basically this is the label user will enter the first number and it will be converted to the integer which will be then assigned to this num1 similarly we have the second number to be provided by the user so i'll just copy and paste the same line of code we will say num2 and then over here enter second number this time so user enters the second number over here now based on the operation we need to find out the result so guys what we will do is we will say if and then we will check whether this option is it equal to one which means when the operation selected is one which means we need to add the two numbers so num1 plus num2 should be present inside the result so over here we say colon and then we have another variable that is result it is equal to num1 plus num2 over here so guys this is the addition operation now let's say if the option that is selected is 2 so we will have the elif part over here and then we can again say option is it equal to 2 so this time what we have to do is we have to subtract the two numbers so result it will be equal to num1 minus num2 this time so over here we will say num1 minus num2 in this case again if the option is 3 over here what we will do is i'll simply copy paste these lines of code over here so we have elif option and then is it equal to 3 so for the operation that is 3 over here we need to multiply the two numbers so over here it will be num1 multiplied by num2 in this case and then guys if the option selected is 4 which means we need to divide the two numbers what we will do is again we will copy paste this line of code and then if the operation is 4 
then the result it will be equal to num1 divided by num2 so guys two times forward slashes over here since we are dealing with the integers so if you want to get the integer so we will have two times forward slashes and if we want the float number we can have just one time forward slash over here that we will check in the upcoming examples as well so guys this is a simple calculator that is helping us in order to carry out these operations using the if and the elif options over here now guys what we will do is finally we have to print the result so over here here we will simply say the result of the operation so we say the result of the operation is and then we can simply have the curly braces and then after this we can use the dot format and then what we can do is simply we can provide the result variable inside which the result is present of the operation that is selected by the user now guys simply we have to save this file now and try running this code so as we can see first option is add second is subtract then we have multiply and then divide and then choose an operation so user is being asked to choose the operation so let's say we provide the first option and then when we press enter it says enter first number so let's say we provide 10 and the second number is 20 so in this case the result will be 10 plus 20 which is equal to 30 so when we press enter it says the result of the operation is 30 over here now guys let me just run this code once again this time we will choose the second operation that is subtract so when we provide 2 and then enter first number let's say we provide 20 and the second number is 5 so 20 minus 5 it is equal to 15 so when we press enter it says the result of the operation is 15 this time let me just run this code once again this time we will check the multiplication operation so over here we choose the operation as 3 which is multiplication enter first number let's say we provide 5 and then enter second number let's say again we provide the number that is 5 over here so 5 multiplied by 5 gives us 25 so when we press enter it says the result of the operation is 25 this time so let me just run this code once again this time let us select divide as the operation so operation is 4 and then let's say the first number is 100 and then the second number it is equal to 20 this time so 100 divided by 20 gives us the quotient as 5 so when we press enter it says the result of the operation is 5 this time now guys let's say we provide any other option which is not between 1 to 4 so let's say i provide the option as 5 over here during the choose an operation input so when we press enter as you can see we are getting invalid operation entered and then again we are getting the runtime error that is the result since this result was defined inside the if statement it was not expecting that we were supposed to print it over here outside the if statement and that is why we are getting this error that is name result is not defined now guys simply we can get rid of that error by defining the result variable outside the if statement and we can simply provide the result as zero over here so when we save this file now and try running this code once again and when we provide the option as five over here when we press enter as you can see invalid operation entered and the result of the operation is zero over here by default now guys let us say when we run this code once again and when we want to divide the two numbers this time so when we choose the operation as 4 and this time what we do is let's say I provide the number 5 over here and the second number is 2 so 5 divided by 2 should give us 2.5 as the float number but since we have used the double forward slashes it will give us the integer value over here so when we press enter over here it says the result of the operation is 2 which is right 5 divided by 2 gives us the quotient as 2 but the remainder as 1 but when we want the quotient to be of the float data type what we can do is we can convert both these numbers that is num1 and num2 into the float numbers so over here we have to provide the float function instead of the int function for both these numbers and then what we can do is num1 and then divide by num2 only one forward slash is required in order to divide the two floating integers so when we save this file now and try running this code once again what we will do is we will provide the operation as 4 which is divide this time and then enter first number let's say we provide 5 and the second number as 2 and when we press enter as we can see the result of the operation is 2.5 so basically as far as divide operation is concerned we can have both the numbers as the floating integers over here and then we can use the single forward slash in order to get the quotient as the floating integer and when we want the result to be of the purely integer data type we can have 
at the double forward slashes and then when we save this file now enter running this code once again when we provide the operation as 4 and then the first number as 5 second number as 2 we get the result as 2.0 that's because we have provided the double forward slashes as far as division is concerned so guys this is very important two forward slashes means we will get the integer as the result and one forward slashes means we will get the floating number as the result so guys please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs and you are able to make the simple calculator using the python program make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to shuffle the deck of cards so stay tuned